This is the Ichabod Show. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, hold up. This guy's gonna open those beers without me. You hear something? Let me turn the camera around, because I hear something. Who the hell's talking over here? Get so, my hair done. Oh, that's right, I forgot. We have a special guest over here. Oh, snap! The man that needs no introduction. All he needs is an induction to the YouTube Hall of Fame. He's insane. He's heating his brain under a, a hair dryer. He's an outlier like Mrs. Doubtfire, the king of things, the duke of juke, the master of sarcaster, the judge of fudge, the breaker of revenges. All right, we've made him wait long enough. Keep going. <laughs> the, 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 the orchestrator of masturbators. The, All right, stop. <laughs> now you went too far. Okay. Lift up that hair dryer if your hair's done. I think it's done. No, oh, it's oh, Brooklyn Madness. Who's in the house I'm on the Ichabod show? Okay, guys, special guest Brooklyn Menace. This is unprecedented. Maybe the best Ichabod show to date. An actual, an actual celebrity on the show. How about that? It's either going to be the best. Oh, or sorry, boss. All right. Now we can do this. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Ichabod Show, the show where we open our beers at the same time. How's everybody doing? Good now. Yeah, Not me too. too bad. Let me try this. Before we get into it, speaking of drinking, we're going to do this right off the bat. I got this, it's called Curveball Barbecue Sauce flavored whiskey <laughs> curveball the guy at the liquor store talked me into it that sounds like a good idea barbecue flavored whiskey for fourth of july so everybody let's raise a red white and blue glass fuck that <laughs> enjoy look at that i'm giving Woo! it tastes red Wow, that really did smell like barbecue sauce. Yeah, it, it, it really tastes, tastes like barbecue, like barbecue sauce. sauce. All right, are you guys going to do the show now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, we haven't done an I Arcade show since the fallout and the, the bankruptcy and the, the, the closing of I Arcade. Mm. So, first, we're going to talk about that for a little while. <clears throat> and my thoughts... My, my opinion is, it's not done yet. I think somebody else is gonna pick it up and run with it. It has, it's, you know, they may have fumbled the ball, but somebody's gonna pick it up and run it into the end zone. That's what I think. Or maybe it's, maybe it's not a fumble, maybe it's more of a, a handoff. Maybe the whole thing was planned. There's a lot of science pointing to that. And I just think it's just so fucking awesome. Like if it was me and I, if I was an investor, I would buy it. There's a lot of affordable directions that our arcade can, to, can go in right now. For example, uh, in television, right? They were going to put out the Amiga, the, the new Intellivision console. Yep. They already have complete games. These are owned IPs, owned by Intellivision. Um, Tommy Talarico is out of the picture now. They're close to bankruptcy. How cheap can I arcade get those games? If somebody purchased I arcade, how cheap could they get those Amico games? Now, a lot of them have kind of a unique controller scheme, but a lot of them would play just fine. Um, the new biplanes, the new tanks, I think they never had a title for it. Yeah. Battle tanks or I, something. <clears throat> isn't Rigid Force Reduce, Redux a... Was that going to be an Amico game? Yeah, they were going to put that on the And that plays great. That's and that's already on the, games on the Iron King. And not to mention classic in television games. Now, again, the control schemes are... Unique, not every game could be played on the arcade with two players simultaneously. But a lot of games could. And uh, there's a lot of really cool classic and television games. Sea Battle was the first real-time strategy game between two players. That's oh, like shit. from 1979, 1980. This, this stuff is up for grabs right now. It's 
That's why I bring this guy on. He knows his old in television <laughs> shit. I just, came, I just came to drink. Yeah. <laughs> Word up. And we appreciate you Excuse coming me. here to I drink. do have an opinion on this, and I said this when I was on Michael B's show. I said I was never worried if anything happened to IRK because I do think somebody will pick it up and run with the ball. Yeah. That's, now, that's just what I think. Now that we're in the situation, why I'm still not concerned about it is because if that doesn't happen, the community has picked it up. Mm -hmm. All right? And the I Arcade <clears throat> has always been about the community and the people that had the most opinions on I Arcade, what, what would make it successful, why is it not successful, was the community. Well, mm -hmm. now it's in the community's hands. So since they have it in their hands, and everybody was so opinionated on what would make IRK great, go go for it. Yeah. Make it great. Make it your own, right? Yeah. One question that I don't know if I heard the answer and I forgot or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Brooklyn, do you know if you if we get like a raspberry pie or a dingleberry pie, and sideload a whole the whole main library and play that on the IRK, will that be able to be online that i mm. don't know yet okay because that's huge because it's sorry so think about it if you're doing that the only way you're going to be able to do something like that will be through the grs deck mm -hmm. that you get for IRK. but what you're actually right. doing you is you're, you're switching it's like a switcher you have your arcade so you're leaving that you're not screwing with it but you could switch it over and then run whatever format they're going to do to play the games now, I would think that that particular format would have to be able to be online. Okay. Damn. So somebody would have to either host or we would need servers involved. Well, there's the peer-to-peer. Peer-to-peer option. Have you tried? Are we still online on the RK? Can you Last week, I played West Side Brian in Breaker's Revenge, and he rage quit because I was whooping his ass. <laughs> <laughs> West Side Brian, don't quit because of that. Play again. I'll, I'll, that's how you learn how to play Breaker's Revenge. I think IRK just wanted to cover their asses and just said, you know, have all your shit done by Friday. But who knows how long it's going to be on. We don't know the legal details because why would they be revealed to us? It would be dumb for all True. of us to know every little legal detail. So it's kind of up in the air. We'll, we'll see what happens. I, I just don't think it's over. I just think it's too awesome to be over. And uh, well, the consoles aren't over. Right. Of these course. are quality machines. Yeah. People are going to be playing these for 20, 30, 40 years. 50, 60. And I was, I was flipping through your library. You're good, man. You have a lot of games in there. I, I haven't even done a deep dive into Dead Cells yet, and I know that's going to... Uh, that alone. I'll, I'll play that for weeks on end. Yeah. I'll play, uh, you know, other games. I still haven't beat Oddmar. I made it to a spot that I couldn't beat. I made it, I made it to a spot... Excuse me. In Siggy. <laughs> I can't beat the Hulk Hogan guy in Siggy. Well, curveball, man. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's wings right in there. It does feel like I just ate some wings. <laughs> the way I've always looked at it is like this. Regardless of whatever was going to happen with Arcade, I was satisfied. Because I'm looking over there. I know we don't see it. It's not on camera. You got your NBA Jam cabinet, right? How many games are in there? Three. Three. But you bought it, right? I bought it because, because it's my favorite game. Those three games. Yeah. When I bought my I Arcade, it's because I wanted Dragon's Lair. And then the, the other 12 games that came with it, I was having a ball. Yeah. Double Dragon. I, I just, buggy racing. We just discovered Diver Boy. So Diver Boy Diver is, is my favorite pack-in game right now. If, if I had Diver Boy when I was 11 years old, I would have never left the house. I would just play Diver Boy all day long. Now, I know there's haters out there, and they're going to say, well, it's not a modern game, and you're not 11 years old. Well, you're right. <laughs> but I have fun playing it. And that's the only thing that matters. We play games because we enjoy them. If you enjoy them and somebody else doesn't, they don't have to. Who cares? Yeah. And don't be mad at me. Don't hate me for enjoying it. Exactly. And the way I look at it is like this. I was left with two cabinets in my home arcade that are two of my favorites, with almost 300 games on each. 
So even if the community didn't pick up the ball and make this thing go on forever at this point, I'm still satisfied because how long is exactly. it going to take me to get through all of those games? The problem is, is when Arcade was in business and banging out games every Friday, what happens? You just keep getting on to the new thing and you forget about mm -hmm. the week after that. Everybody was looking forward to the next week and you're playing the shit out of the games all week and then the new thing comes out because we're covering it on shows, we're on to the next thing and you never finish anything. This is another thing that I think maybe John was thinking about. Maybe he was thinking, you know what? Let me put, let me hit the pause button on everything because there's so many games that people haven't delved into or even acknowledged. I, I just got Plus Alpha, which I'm going in, that's part of my other segment I'll talk about it later, but Plus Alpha was on the store forever and I didn't buy it, and I and I bought it right before the store closed, and that game is a banger. Yeah. Banger. It's a, yeah, it's a banger. That's a legit banger right there. It's a king of luck, and a lot of people didn't know about that game. Part of our new set is I, I moved my toolbox over here, and now we can slap it and make loud noises. Can I hit the table too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I have a new segment. It's called Gimme Two, and I'll give you an example. First, Gimme Two, I stole this from a radio show, a Philadelphia radio show. Uh, the host, Mike Missanelli, used to do Gimme Two. Yeah, he's Mike. One of, he's one of my favorite radio hosts, and he, he, he quit the station. Now he's, he's got a podcast. Subscribe to Mike Missanelli's podcast. And so I'm going to say Gimme Two, and, and I could say anything. The first one's going to be, so I'll go first. Give me two snack crackers. And so I'm gonna go wheat things, cheeses. Dude, you screwed me up. I was gonna say cheeses. Too bad. Give me two snack crackers. Damn. I can't think of two. You you already stole mine. I stole the two best ones, probably. You got two snack crackers? What the fuck is a cracker? What are those? Popcorn it's loose. It's Dorito. Loose. It can be, it can be a sandwich cracker. No, Dorito is not a cracker. Popcorn is not a cracker. Popcorners. How about just <laughs> Say a, my name. That's dude, not a cracker. How about either. just the OG saltines, man? There you go. Saltines. Great for when you have the flu. And Ritz. Ritz. There you go. Those are your two. You went with both savory. You went savory on both. Nobody's going with a sweet cracker yet. Chicken and biscuit. Boom. Those are good. And Klondike bar. What? <laughs> it cracks. <laughs> it cracks. All right. I'll give it to you. <laughs> it cracks. All right. Give me two 80s pop songs. PQ go first. Burning down the house once in a lifetime. Talking Heads. I had Talking Heads shirt on last time. You know I'm a punk and a dork at You're the same time. So there you go. <laughs> You're a Talking Heads shill. Give me two 80s pop songs. Hungry Like the Wolf. Hungry Like a Wolf is a great one. Duran Duran has awesome harmonies. Let me just say it. Don't front. Don't front on Duran Duran. What, a second one? Yeah, give me two. It's not called Give Me One. Well, he only said one. No, I said two. I just said them fast. <laughs> I said once in a lifetime and burn it down the house. Actually, I think I said them in the other order, but they're both. Next week, it can't be the same band if we do songs. Okay, let's establish that now. Fair enough. Damn, man. Duran, Hungry Like the Wolf? I'm trying to think. What else would I say? Do you want me to do my two and then I'll sure, go back to you? Do your two. Uh, LL Cool J, going back to Cali. If you haven't listened to that in a long time, or maybe you were just eight years old when it came out and you had no, <laughs> no concept of horn arrangements, uh, going back to Cali, it, it starts with like a, uh, a sax like a, jazz, like a, a jazz yeah, saxophone jazz. all by itself, and it has a really cool horn arrangement. I love it. Listen to it with headphones on. So, LL Cool J, going back to Cali. Uh, 
Terrence Trent Darby, oh. give my love a wishing well. You know that one? Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say I didn't know we were I didn't know we were covering rap, so I'm gonna say the show. Oh, okay. Doggy Fresh and Get Fresh. Group. There you go. Yeah, see, definitions are loose on okay. pop. Okay. Pop is whatever you think is pop, as far as I'm concerned. If it was a hit, it was pop. You did say hit. Because we listened to some real underground shit. Like, well, the show was a hit to me in in my world in Brooklyn. Yeah. Which one's that? That's. You don't know the show? But the Dougie Fresh and the Get Fresh crew? No, I don't. I guess I don't. I know a lot of Slick Rick. Right. Well, I know. well, if you know Slick Rick, then you should know. The, the Adventures you know of Slick show. Rick is a banger. All right, then I'll say Slick Rick, la di da -di -da. There you go. There you go. <laughs> wow, that's that spawned a lot of references over the years from other rappers. Oh, my yes. God. Well, Snoop Dogg covered it. That was one of the first rap cover songs. Snoop Dogg did, like, a, uh, not word for word, but he... he he did a rap cover song of la di -da. Now, I was gonna, uh, the next segment was gonna be what will you miss most about the IRK now that it's on hold? We're gonna say it's on hold. We're not gonna say it's over. I'm not missing anything. I miss the attract modes. I miss having new attract modes. Well, okay, I will miss that. But imagine if we they, ended on a decent one. Imagine if they put every attract mode back to back. I guess that would be too big of a, download I have most of them so if you're out there and you miss the Yule Log don't worry <laughs> the Yule Log. I have you covered this holiday season 24 7 on my channel I'm gonna have that Yule Log back up do you have yeah, a log? Brooklyn do you have a log I don't remember when Clark Griswold was like not that I have a log it's a bit nipply outside <laughs> I'm just, I, you can't I'm, see the I'm line can you bro drink I'm here for the free beer. Uh, yeah, he doesn't like the barbecue whiskey. Yeah, fuck that. I don't really like it either, but I bought it somewhere. How it. was it? You, did you? I didn't. It tastes I'm, I'm just like beer. barbecue sauce. Is it like barbecue sauce that makes you drunk? Basically, yeah. yeah or I don't. I don't mess with hard alcohol. Look, there's like a tornado of sediment in there. Let's put that closer to the camera. A lot of sediment. I usually don't drink any that's all the sugar. sugar in it because uh -huh. that's like oh, yeah, really that's like, bad for your body. I mean, like they're both bad. It's, it's mixed also, together it's in a bottle. Like, it's also really bad. So you're time. asking me to pour you another shot? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I have men's college that has no zero, uh, no sugar, no right. zero. What were we talking about? I already forgot. Uh, what will we miss most about the I arcade? And I said, the, the new attract modes. You guys have anything? If I if I was lying, I would say getting attacked by the community. But if, I was, <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being truthful, I'm what miss I miss that. most is what see what I miss most is the Friday shows. Uh, I really really used to get so excited mm -hmm. when it's getting Wednesday into Thursday and Friday was here. I was always so excited for whatever the new game announcements yeah. were. I'd, I'd be checking my, my YouTube yeah. feed I would be after a second break at work refreshing. while I'm eating lunch. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna miss that. You get two breaks? I get two breaks at work. <laughs> I got one 25 minute break, DS Smith. I, no, they're gonna be. <laughs> I get, you can keep I get, that in. I get keep two 20 in. minute breaks. Uh, yeah, like, like the Friday they announced the Iron Games. Like, mm -hmm. oh, oh my God, that was like, so great. See, and that's that's the whole. That's another reason why I think it's not done yet because just that Iron Library, that the Iron Library could be divided up into two or three arcade one up machines, but. I have I an IRcade arcade story I'd like to tell if this is an appropriate time. It's perfect time. Okay, so I have a friend. He's not really the gamer. <laughs> he has a friend. <laughs> well, we just made friends, so. Two friends now. Now it is two. <laughs> two friends. There you go. Two friends. Now I have one friend. Well, oh, I, 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 I have two friends. I guess, cool too. I guess the other guy I'm talking Thanks, about man. doesn't really consider me a friend, but at least I got one friend now. Anyway, so I know this guy. He's not like a 
hardcore gamer type, like maybe the three of us are. Been I'm a hardcore retro gamer. I'll tell you right now. I love retro. I love modern. I, I, I love games. I love Dungeons and Dragons, Axis and Allies, video games, retro. I, I love all sorts of games. <laughs> I am a nerd. Anyway, so I know this guy, right? He's not really into games that much. Not like us, anyway. But there were two arcade games that he absolutely loved. Dragon's Lair, Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And the other one was Blockout. And this guy would... You know somebody that knows Blockout? From the arcade. And there was an, an arcade machine. And he had to <laughs> walk a distance, and he would have to make sure he had quarters in, because those he, were the he days. He walked the distance to play Blockout? Block don't, sleep. Awesome. don't sleep, Brooklyn. I'm gonna make Not you play it today. Not Before you get out. back in your square ass car, I'm <laughs> gonna make you play block. <laughs> I out. did not come here for punishment. I <laughs> did you bring a, a, a one chip with you? No, I didn't. No, <laughs> block out is nice. never happened to me again. <laughs> he, did, he did the one chip challenge on one of his shows. I don't know what and that is. It's one chip that's super spicy. Okay. And you do it to punish yourself if you're into that. If you're one of the weirdos. So this guy's at this guy's at my house, right? And I'm I'm like, yo, check this out. This is called an I arcade. You probably never heard about it. If people heard about it, maybe people would be buying them up more, but I didn't it know about Technos, it until it's a Technos Japan game, which is the makers of uh, What, Blockout? Yeah, Blockout. Double they made it's the same company that made Double Dragon. Huge company. Walk so your ass I'm, to I'm, the fridge. I'm showing him <laughs> anymore, and this show's gonna get bad. <laughs> I'm showing him the arcade. He's like, oh, you know, video games are all right. I'm like, okay, well, I got a, a couple ones here that, that I, I really like, and I'm going through my favorites, and he sees Dragon Slayer. He's like, whoa, you got Dragon Slayer? I love Dragon Slayer. I spent so much money in the arcade playing Dragon Slayer. And I'm like, well, now when you're here, you just push this button. And to get a coin. <laughs> that's a coin. And uh, he wants to play. I keep going through the list anyway, because I'm uh, sadistic like that. So I, 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 and I get the block out. He's like, oh my God. And that's the other arcade game I loved. I'm that's like, so let me get this straight. You, you, you loved two arcade games, and they're both right here. He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay then. <laughs> that is the 3D style. That's the 3D. The mm -hmm. blocks are coming With the creepy ball. Gun. You, actually, <laughs> you actually convinced me to buy that one. Yep. And it's tough to play, man. It's not easy. But the thing about Blockout is once you start getting a feel for the buttons, it takes you while. start to be able to, to, to change the shape of your block without thinking about it, it becomes like, it's, that's when it gets cool. And the background is like really psychedelic and the music is psychedelic. Got that weird Max Headroom sort of guy. Creepy bald guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I hope you're not talking about me. Hey, I'm a creepy I'm talking about guy both of you guys. <laughs> well, I'm pretty much bald too. I just don't shave my head. Now, whoa. I was at number three. <laughs> No, my fourth topic is, what are people buying? And I have a poster for that. I was wondering if we were gonna do that. What are people buying? Is this the last Woo! what are people buying? For now? We'll see, we'll see. I drew this with uh, well, markers. The, actually, people were buying a lot of stuff, which is surprising, knowing that, you know, the store was going out, Maybe that's why oh, they were. That's another point. Uh, that's another one of my points as to why it might not be done yet. They sold a lot of games in the last week of the store. They did. Yeah. So a lot of people saying that they had spent well over a hundred dollars on buying games on sale. A whole Benjamin. Yeah. You know how many games I, I bought? None. Okay. Well, that's part. That's part. <laughs> That's part of this uh, segment. I what well, I already had almost three hundred. Like, yeah, because you've been there games? since day one. We talked about this earlier with uh, with that pinball game. Yeah, Panic, Panic Road. Road. Panic I was Road. Like, maybe maybe Trigger Dungeon. I, I was like, ah, screw it. I love Panic Road. It's weird, man. And that's one thing I love about <laughs> the arcade is I, I 
I know so many games from so many systems. I had an Atari Lynx. I had a Commodore 64. I've never I mean, even heard of Panic Room. I like him. <laughs> and, and, yeah, me too. I've never heard of I like, any of I the like, Toloplin games like before my people, arcade. Like, and they're like... I like meeting people when I think I'm the only one that likes exactly, stuff. Exactly, yeah. And then meeting people we're, that like it too. We're all different multiverse versions of each other sometimes when you think about it. <laughs> oh. That's not, Dude, the, honestly, that's not Marvel. Multiverse whole, existed first in Dungeons and Dragons. The whole liking arcades in general. Like, if any of us just mix in with most people our age and you start talking about it, yeah, I have a home arcade in my house. Most people are like, oh yeah, that's nice. We mm -hmm. <laughs> were out of that shit 30 years ago. Yeah. But So we're all outcast that's why i've yeah. always laughed at why this entire home arcade community are always at odds with each yeah, other because we need each shit. other when we're all the mo most similar, we're the outliers we all love the same stuff mm -hmm. absolutely we're the outcasts yeah and there's only so many of us you nailed it bro but there's enough of us to make our arcade make money <laughs> so but fuck you if you don't like our arcade i haven't Sorry. i haven't so going back to what are people buying? My beautiful sign that I made with markers. And I, I, I got new signs coming up in the future. So anybody who's watching the Ichabod show, if you're a fan of my posters, there's more <laughs> coming. I'm gonna make you draw something. PQ is a pretty good artist. Um, to be. This is high budget production here. I'm, it's signs it's high paper. budget analog production. A, a lot notes. of people are buying business papers, not notes. A lot of people are buying GRS decks. I haven't put my order in yet for a GRS deck, only because, especially now that I know they've reached the 500, nice. But uh, I still don't think IRK's done. That's why I haven't bought it yet. And people are buying Raspberry Pis. But what I bought from the game store, I bought Spin Master. Good, I good bought choice. Budasan. Good choice. Have you played it? No. <laughs> you will tonight. Budasan is cool. <laughs> The Budasan is cool. It's like I don't know what that is. It's kind of like Bomberman crossed with it's kind of like, like those little pigs on the screen, right? It's pigs playing, throwing bombs at each other. I'm joking. I don't have that game. It's cool. I bought Plus Alpha. All right, that's which cool. I said Heavy Metal Titans. Right. You didn't buy, so stop. Playing. I got Heavy Metal Titans for free. I bought Alien Storm. Dude, you didn't have Alien Storm? No. Right. I have it on my at games no, Genesis. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm happy that you have that. Mm -hmm. You should have that. You know what? What I never noticed in Alien Storm until this week was uh, when, if you watch the game before the game starts, they're like serving food out of a food truck, and it says Alien Burgers, and then they get a phone call, and it and the letters flip around like Wheel of Fortune, and then it says Alien Busters, <laughs> and they 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 drive away and go bust aliens. And I got the in-city games yeah. that were free. Okay. I'm glad because I was able to grab UFS League again. It was a, it was a game that I did not understand. But yeah, I got when that. I first yeah. got it and I returned it. So now I have it, whatever, I'll put some time into it and mm -hmm. see you know, what my thoughts are on it now. Yeah, it's nice to have a game that you have no, no pressure. Like you just have it. So you know you have that for later, you can you can like just and I, I also didn't get into it whenever. I didn't have that emoji music game. I just I I it was bought it for me. I bought it, but I, I didn't give it much of a chance. But, but shout out to In City Games, Longhead. Seriously, one of the best games on IRK. Mine's retro. I like Casino Golf a lot. Casino Golf is great. We 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 got a lot of play out of that. I'm glad that now everybody has that mm -hmm. because even though it's not online, even when it was. You know, even when we had the ability to do that, we still figured out a way to play that against each other. Oh yeah, what's yeah. that? You just do you have multiple, to play through the multiple whole thing? screens? Each person taking their shot one at a time, going for the gamble, mm -hmm. and seeing who, who who ends with the most money. And and I'm glad you brought that up because that casino golf is a game where you can just stop and walk away. And the music keeps playing, and you, there's no timer or anything like that. 
Like you can, you can, you can be playing casino golf and you're on the eighth hole and you can take your dog for a walk, come back, play the ninth hole, go up and eat dinner, come back and play the 10th hole and it'll be right when you left it off. That's why I saying we can play it offline against yeah. each other. It is the best, probably the only closest thing to like a gambling simulator mm -hmm. on iArcade. But it's got like a- but it's got that golf element to it. And yeah, and it's kind of like an Angry Birds uh, mechanic, the way mm -hmm. you hit the golf ball. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's a fun game. Anybody got a topic? And you, and you know what's funny about that is that I was gonna pass on it, and Goofy Foot actually sent me a super chat to buy it to review it, and I wound up loving it. Yep. Thanks, Goofy Foot. Wow, old skateboard reference. Love that shit. Yeah, Goofy Foot. Uh, he's an old skateboarder. <laughs> I, mean, I, would think I was so. thinking. Of, I, would think I was so. going to say something about a different IRK game, and I got them confused with Goofy Foot. So, my next topic <laughs> was uh, I just wanted to say my new uh, catchphrases. I hope you have a corntastic day, and this is the important one: only a Sith deals in absolutes. If you know what that means. Remind yourself once in a while, only a Sith deals in absolutes. But I'm ready to start the two quarter challenge if you guys are. Two quarter challenge? You guys are the superior players here. It don't matter, you're I in, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Haven't you seen me in the one quarter challenge? I barely ever- He's a schmupper. A schmupper? He's a schmupper. What are we playing? Uh, we'll do, me and PQ will do Diver Boy because we've had a series of, uh, we've been doing Maybe Diver Boy. Maybe we can Boy. beat the crab. Maybe we can beat the crab. You gotta shoot him in the thorax and the eyes. The eye about, stalks. Okay, I was about to say a crab doesn't have a thorax. Wait, necessarily. Does he have a rib cage? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, then shoot him in the rib cage. And like tails all over. Oh, wait, those are legs. Mm hmm. So we'll shoot them in the eye stalks with our... No, one supplements. person takes the high road and shoots the eye stalks. One person takes the middle road and shoots them in the thorax. Okay. You know, uh, when cr crabs, that their eyes are like above their body, that's the, the, the scientific or the, the, the real name for that is eye stalks. You learn something new every day. <laughs> I could teach you about Haitian dictators if you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna all have to stand up and I'm gonna have to make the camera. I don't know if I can stand. <laughs> <laughs> can you uh, grab that poster? Yes. This one? Yep. Okay. It's not in the shot. <laughs> oh, we never said hi to the chat, but that's okay. Hi, right, chat! Because I didn't write down who, who chatted. Fuck out of the way. <laughs> I'm actually gonna move this a little bit forward. Low budget here, man. This is how we do. What time? Are these the McDonald's glasses from back in the day? Yeah, that's a McDonald's uh, Empire Strikes Back <laughs> yeah, I think I used glasses. To There's War Horse. I'll tell you what I'm not gonna do. Let Warhorse slap me across the chest. Okay. I saw that one. Dude, that sounded like a firework going off in the room. I gotta show you that, PQ. Oh. And and you know what? He had he got so much enjoyment out of doing that. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> no, I don't know about the other guys involved. Let's see if we can move my toolbox without knocking the camera over. Or breaking the bottle of barbecue whiskey. All right. Brooklyn, how's your hair? Come out nice? Fried his wig like a bad perm. Diver boy, diving here and there and everywhere.
Okay. Can you? Uh, no problem. Keep going. Can you, Brooklyn? Can you check if? Well, right now he's. You're, on, he's, you're still recording. Yeah. No, I was gonna say while while PQ is playing, if his shoulder is blocking this monitor, I would be um, standing. Um, about. I can move. I should probably move the monitor over. No, you do this. Move your camera a little closer to the monitor instead of zooming in. Instead of zooming your camera in, get it closer to the monitor. There we go. This gimbal has more drift than a Joy-Con. <laughs> Those things suck. The only reason I don't own a Switch is because I hate the Joy-Cons, man. And if I can't play it on the go, I then what's the point of a Switch? I play with the Pro Controller. And that's how I would play it. But I feel kind of ripped off doing that. Because I was told I would have a portable unit. I don't like the... I think the way to go is to the Switch Lite, but... No, well, the, but I don't know how, how to play the problem there is the OLED, controllers wear out and you're screwed. LED is the shit, dude. What's that? Oh, we didn't even make the food, man. The wife took all that time to make this? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, have at it if you want. Which one should I take? Alex? The orange ones are better. These? these? Yep. Okay. The orange pasta leos are better than the white pasta leos. There's ground beef inside there. In case you're a vegan. All right, here we go. Where's my not anymore? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's the button blocker. Two hundred points. 200 won. 200 won. That's about 14 cents. 200 won. Two quarter challenge. Oh, I realized something. When you're diving down, you can push the button again and go right back up. Oh, you, you know that's what? a game I, I changer. I think you told me that last time. I didn't know it last time, or I forgot. Then maybe it didn't. Oh, we missed out on that, but that's all right. You don't need it. Brooklyn, have you ever beat the, the crab in this game? No. We did have this on the one quarter challenge. You know, the only thing I would change about this game is the music. It's not bad music, but it could be better music. Now, if you're patient, a submarine power up will come, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there it is. You want to get it? Kill the turtles? Get there. I'm getting there. I might beat the level before you do. You missed it. They don't last forever. Uh, I want that BE. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I got it! We have one letter in the Diver Boy spell. You know what's so crazy about oh. this game? Whoops. Why you guys are playing it? Is that? Yeah. We play this and people are like, what is this game? This looks cool. It's, it's a pack and you all own it. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> We're housing these levels like nothing. Soon we'll be shooting that submarine. Yes, I, we I like games where it goes from like whatever you would call this to a schmuck. You know, it's like two different genres in one. This is his yeah, own genre. Man. That, that I, that I don't know how. It up on the first boss. Every boss, I believe, is a, a schmuck. Schmucker. Oh, I can get it. This is, oh, I, <laughs> what would Papa Brad say? The greed element got me. 
amigo Tampura. Aquí se me la Whoa! I got, hey, a, I got a clip. No crab for me. PQ's Audi. I got a glare on the screen for the fluorescent lights. Mm -hmm. It's killing me. Well, take a step over if you like. I'm dead anyway. Yeah, we'll do a couple more after this. Actually, I might want to do a, a plus alpha two quarter challenge, 200 wand challenge. That's a tough game? Yeah. Brooklyn, did you guys ever do evolution soccer? Maybe we should do that. There's also a weird ColecoVision game. Well, I guess you can't purchase it now called Evolution, which was kind of like oh, six yeah. mini games or something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I never played it, but it looked interesting. Yeah, go ahead, just leave the show, PQ. <laughs> We had a great match in squash. Damn. Out. Yeah, that was good. Now some of these clams you can open up right away, and some of them you have to open, you have to do them like in order. Submarine! You know, you can wiggle out of that octopus. The octopus will grab you. That's what you do when I'm on your show, because you got to do it fast. Yeah. Sorry about that, uh, Leela wanted me to water the plants. Yeah. Man, I, these fish got me cock blocked. I can't get that clam! Wow, figuring that out really helped. Wow. Now, you know, what Look also really helped was... We did better was last week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and That's it, it for Diver. Later in the day, too. And That's it, it for Diver week. Boy. Do one of you guys want to pick a game for the next two quarter challenge? <laughs> Brooklyn's like, I'm eating. Oh, no, you're not picking shit. We're playing Buddha sign. Ooh. We might want to do, I, I had written down Cyber Police E-SWAT because you guys, you guys can't do it. You can't do that. You can't. Yeah. Oh, you know what, though? We can't use that monitor either. I have to point it towards the eye, okay? Let's play Budasan. Yeah, do Budasan. Nobody really shows that game. Look. It's actually cool. I like it. I'm glad I bought it. Bought it last minute. So, throw and duck. I. I'm not sure if duck makes you safe from all the explosions. Is this co-op or competitive? It's co-op. I mean, I guess, you know what? I've never played a two-player, but I, I think it's co-op. Doesn't that look like it says bitch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely doesn't look like Buddhism. So we're, okay, this isn't a two-quarter challenge. This is a competition to see who can last the longest. That's what Duck does. Okay. Look at all those power-ups. I, I probably haven't had 
Oh, I just memorized the whole thing. I hope you did. Yeah, right. All the bad guys, the different colors, they have different personalities and stuff. With no further ado. I'm in. Push, push A. Maybe it goes one at, maybe it doesn't go at the same time. So are the numbers how long it takes for the bomb to explode? Yeah, but they're di they're weird because some of them count down and some of them don't. They don't count down until you pick them up and throw them. Oh, I was wrong. That one's counting down. It's just sitting there. Gotta be on your toes with food or something. Give me that bomb. Whoa. You, you can just dug and put it down. I don't know how I survived it. The duck button, man. I didn't even push it. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see if I live through this. I did. So are you playing against each other? The PQ's not even in. We, I guess we didn't do it right or something. Yeah, I, I think right player two start and whatnot. Take your time. We're playing Buddha Sun. I want to check it out. Oh, I got the gas mask. Everybody's sleeping. Or ducking. And that should blow up the purple guy, I would imagine. There's like 10 bombs around that guy. Round clear. It has to be two players at the same time, because they show like, they, they definitely do. I'm putting in another coin. Is that you right there? Yeah. There we go. Maybe we didn't put in, put in enough coins. Anyway, I'm oh, still on my first quarter. Hey, that may be fair because right, so I've played this before. Hopefully, we don't have to kill each other to advance to the next round. Cool. It is co-op. Yes. Bonus round. I love games that have a bonus round. We hit coin a bunch of times. I thought we did. Uh, push A when you get close to one. To whack a mole. Whack a pig. You have to be facing it. You have to be touching it. Brooklyn, this is the bonus round on Budasan. It's like whack-a-mole. So this is one of those games where the only thing I had to represent it was the picture. Yeah. Speaking of that, we're gonna play Battle Crowed. Because you, you guys didn't give it any love. Nobody gave Battle Crowed love. You know why? Because the one guy looks too much like E Hondo on the picture. <laughs> oh, Battle K Road? Yeah. Dude, this food is fire, man. All right, Pasta Leos. Brooklyn likes the Pasta Leos. Dominican Republic in the house. Okay, I'm dead. I'm not going to put in any more quarters because this is one. Now, look, it shows you statistics and stuff. Once the continue timer goes down. Mm 
penalty, we had no penalty calls. This is me, I'm number one on my personal IRK leaderboard. I like, oh, it's the one back. It's saying you can put your initials in. Just because I played with you. I forgot, I was gonna mention this book. <laughs> when when I heard the news, I'm of, gonna go shoot some bath salts, I'll be right back. Go for it. <laughs> when I heard the I arcade was, Looks like so. it's, <laughs> was shutting down, I was a little upset, and I said, you know what, I need to find a new hobby. I'm gonna read a book. I bought this book. It actually really helped me. <laughs> That's literally how I live my entire life, dude. You should read this. It's really good. And I, I rarely read books. I read The Outsiders. <laughs> and I read Lord of the Flies. Not Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Flies. All right, we're going to Battle Crowed. Who's up on the leaderboard? Turbo Joe, look at me, I'm number two. Or some guy with a weird names number two I like this name Shilly Shamrock <laughs> grab a Mountain Dew or a Gatorade do the do okay six buttons Light punch, heavy punch, or medium, heavy punch. Kick. And the same with kick. But the special moves, almost every single character has a special move with hard punch or hard kick. You hold it down for a second and release it. The mechanics are way different than Street Fighter. And another thing that's different about this game than any other game, like fighting game, you can do a critical hit with somebody that has full energy and end the round by knocking them down. It doesn't matter how much energy they have. If you do a critical hit, they're knocked out. Never played this one. Might be disappointed that you didn't buy it. Smoke alarm's going off. Whoops. It's one of the only games I have CRT lines on. All right. I'll just do a demo. Oh, it's like kind of, kind of jittery. Ah, oh, why do I gotta fight my clone? See, I did that move. I did it by holding C down and letting it go. Down. He had, this guy has one move where he breaks your fingers and the sound effect is like so... It, it makes you feel like your fingers got broken. You ain't beating me on my own show, bitch. Fuck. I should restart it. It's it's it's, it's blippy. That that move where he did the somersault kick, that's hold down hard kick and release. While pressing forward. Yeah, if you if you're holding back, it does that kick. Which you can kill him in one shot. From what I've seen, I, I'm not a big fighting game guy, but I, I like it. It seems very different. Some of these moves that they're doing. Yeah. And oh, here's something else. Like you can hold down. I'm getting my ass kicked.
There's that one. Kick him in his nuts. Good night. Fuck your red sunglasses. I got a beret. You're bleeding. I'm stitched up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna restart my IRK because it's like jittery. So. Nobody's gonna entertain the crowd at this moment. The IRK's resetting. Brooklyn's got a mouthful of pasta leo. I'm running out of jokes. <laughs> IRK is not dead, baby. You will live forever in our hearts. Can't kill the games, dude. I think the reason it got like that is because me and PQ were both pushing the, the quarter button and the, and the player one and two button at the same time. One thing I can tell you is not working right now is you can't do a screenshot. No. I you can't do that. Done. Yeah. I try to do it on my NBA Jams cap. Because that would send you an email. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm playing NBA Jams and I push player two and player three and all of a sudden I, I like... I'm introducing new players to the game. I'm like, no, I wanted to get a screenshot. And I'm like, oh, right. This isn't an arcade. It's an at game. So it's an IR. It's a, what the fuck is that? Arcade one up. Battle Crowd. Gotta say, though, it's NBA Jam. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> Looks like an actual little arcade machine here. Yeah. You gotta. I'm gonna make you play at least four games because. It won't show your name on the statistics until you play four games. Plus, you're gonna like the clown character. You can give yourself a clown head. Really? Yeah. All right, let's go. You're playing Battle Crow. Am I? Yeah, you're up. I'll play fighting. Just remember, hold down C or Z for two seconds. You just, you just want Oops. to be able to beat somebody. Pretty much. I just want to play somebody. God damn, I never played nobody in this. The bottom row is the same. Like, see, you pick the T-1000. I could pick Arnold Schwarzenegger. But I won't. I'm going to pick uh, I should have picked that guy. Daniel LaBrusso. He's actually the easiest to use. Oh, let me show, before, here, just don't, don't kill me. Let me show you something. Back up. All right, look, you can push down and duck for a second and go and shoot in. You see how I shot in like that? All right, let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, back is blocked. Pretty sure you can block that. Nice. Does it play anything like Street Fighter? I don't play Street Fighter. <laughs> I don't play fighting games. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Are there special moves? Yeah. You hold down. Like here, I'll show you this guy's flip kick. You hold down Z and then release it. Unless you're getting beat up. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I made him dizzy. Who's gonna die? Me. The T-1000. Ush. I guess he's not, he's a T-800. Who named these characters? Anthony? <laughs> it's LaRusso. It's yeah. Daniel LaRusso. Yeah. They're all a knock, <coughs> a knock off of somebody, except for the girls are just pretty girls. That's not going to be playing. That's no. why I'm doing it. You want to play again? Go for it, dude. 
I can't change. It's funny, when you beat the girls, their face gets like bruised up on the on the other screen. Whoa. And it looks ah, a little so there are in the throat. Throat. <laughs> you get close enough. Yeah, there are. Wolf has the coolest throw moves. That move is lethal. It's hard, really hard to anticipate. You could do it in the air too. Hold, hold hard, harder, punch or kick, jump up and release it. Push. Uh, does somebody want to play Batsugan? The vertical shooter? Two quarter challenge? Yeah. When you guys it's your, turn, it's your turn to pick. I like the way they have those towns. It's pretty different. Yeah. It's more, it's like UFC style. It's, this game was like they were trying to market it as more realistic than Street Fighter in those. Okay, look, look at the girl, look at the girl's face here. <laughs> like kind of weird. Looked like my wife when I was leaving. <laughs> Ooh. There it is. That Brooklyn sense of humor. All right. Batsugan. Batsugan. You could just go to shooters. There you, go. Oh, you passed it. Oh. Captain Tomatey is a weird game. I haven't decided if I like it or not yet. You can create an online room. I can, yeah. There you go. Still working. Come on, nice. West Side Ryan, where are you at? It's just sitting somewhere in an empty office. I use Fire 2 more often than Fire 1, which is probably a mistake. I don't completely I don't, understand, I don't understand the mechanics of this game. There's our two credits. You ready? Yep. Pushers. It's not good if you push them at the same time. You gonna use that? I'm not using type A. Oh, the player two ones are different. How about that? It's okay, good. we can use the same one because they're different. <laughs> now this first level is kind of like underwater-ish. Yeah. Brooklyn, can you hit that light switch over there? Because we're zoomed in on the TV. Which one? This one? Yeah. Makes it so much easier for me to see the screen. Maybe now I can jump up on the leaderboard since there's two of us. Okay, I'm using Fire 1 right now, but I'm I'm going to hit Fire 2 just to show the audience what it looks like. That's Fire 2. It's more powerful. I was oh. <laughs> I was looking at you and I died. Who is it? Steel? Oh, Deep Purple. Dun, dun, dun. While we're underwater, here's an aqua well. That'd be Jethro Tull. Oh, you're right. You made quick work of Deep Purple. Gotta use those bombs, man. On the boss. Is, is Smoke on the Water any different than Cat Scratch Fever? I feel like those are the same song. They're definitely different. <laughs> wow, good job. 
Steps is high up on the leaderboard on this. Steps has been playing this one a lot. Yeah. I'm going to stick to the right for the most part. So now, Flyer 2 is, is superior to Flyer 1. Is there a reason to only use Flyer 1? Like, does that help you out somehow? I have Dude, no that's idea. That's all I ever use is Flyer 1. I use, I use the C button all day, every day. That's the one you just used? Yeah. Which Honestly, one? it might be the same thing. It just might be for people's different comfort on which side they want the fire on. Yeah. They're, they're definitely different projectiles. Thank you. Most toe playing games have a bailout bomb. Like if you're about to die, you just hit the bailout bomb and you're safe. And I'm out. We gotta collect some bombs. I got one. You got the tomboy version. I love the pulsating lightning laser. It's so cool looking. Oh, there you go. You got side joints. Ah, well, I did. I was a little late. <laughs> Could have saved you. That's my two quarters. Once again, PQ is out before Ichabod. So I'll have to face this boss by yourself with, no, with bombs. no bombs. I almost died right there. Well, Man, you're, you're about to die. <laughs> no, Not I can bad. beat I can beat this boss without bombs. I think I, I think I've done it before. Now it's bombs away. <laughs> that was a convenient level up. Why is that hornet humping, humping a skull? Uh, if you're up for it. After this one, Ichabod's gotta take a piss. I was thinking too much about that and I died. One more time. <laughs> you know what? I think we're actually gonna end the show now. Everybody throw your peace signs on the monitor. Remember, have a corn dat. A, damn it, have a corn tastic day, and only a Sith deals in absolutes. Love each other. Exercise peace. Be happy. Peace.